Well, we've got a measurement session coming up here next week, and it's going to be uh, laying some parts on this fixture and then doing some analysis on those parts. But what I'd like to do is I want to do a little bit of model prep first so I can be all prepared once I get to this uh, to this client. So what I know is that we will have to do a sphere alignment uh, using these tooling balls that are on the fixture. And I can show you those. I'm going to zoom in. So each corner has got a, a tooling sphere on it. You can see these all over. And they're on both sides of this of this fixture. So what I'm going to do first, though, is um, whenever I do a measurement session, I typically like to get into the alignment uh, of the CAD model first. So I'm going to prep my model that way as well. And I don't know if they've got plates on the side of these fixtures that say this is tooling sphere one. And here are its coordinates that I don't know yet until I get there. But what I do know is the nominal appears in the CAD model here. It's very simple how to put those things into your model tree here. So what I'm going to do is run up to this icon here. So this is the creation of the sphere. But if you don't have that icon showing up in your uh, your toolbar here, that's going to show up under the measure features, create, and then you could pick it from here, sphere there. But I always do recommend that you guys get this. And I'll close that out just a second. But this this toolbar here, I love it. I'm in this thing 90% of the time. So this feature toolbar. I'll right click here a second and just show you that, but it's right here. So if you want to have that live and visible on your uh, on your toolbar, select that one. It's amazing. He'll use that thing all day long. So here is the sphere creation. I'll punch on him. And then what I'll do is I always give these names something that makes sense. And again, I don't know if they've got that named on the fixture. So I'll see that when I get there, but I'm going to call this my tooling sphere one and the method of creation is uh, picking on the CAD model so when I run out here notice that so it's highlight in fact I'm going to zoom in on that thing a little bit more I'll hit the space bar so I can manipulate this 3d scene but I'll zoom right in space bar again and notice when I mouse over if I hover over that sphere it's looking for a spherical object from the CAD so I'm going to punch on him and it goes out there, it finds the size and the location of this. But then notice here too, it runs right to Tooling Sphere 2. So that's automatically increasing. So I'm going to space bar again, run over to this guy. I'll do the same thing there. That'll be number two, space bar again, so I can manipulate the 3D scene. I'll run here and say that this will be the third one. Space bar again, zoom, zoom, space bar again, and then there is number four. Okay, so that is done. So I'll close my sphere creation. Now look over here in my features, uh, underneath my features here in the model tree, I've got four tooling spheres that I can use to get into the alignment of this CAD model. 